talking this piece getting deconstructed what makes this kid a great paul coffee shows us how to skate today and once again, Speech Gang Deconstructed is about skating well. And we don't want to replace power skating coaches in hockey or coaches advice or anything like that. We want to offer a different perspective on how hockey skaters produce power and speed on the ice. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's look at Paul Coffey. I mean, 21 years in the NHL, one of the greatest defensemen in history, maybe the best, Bobby Orr, who knows. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but let's look at this. So he's showing us how to skate. First of all, what do we know? What do we notice? Great blade angle here, great lean, and great awareness. So he's looking where he's going to go, and he's purchased fully on the skate. And didn't you know that two sizes too small is the skate that uh, Paul chose? You know why? It's a key thing, and maybe no one talks about this. You need to have really, really intense connection to the ice, and you do that by having the, the skate and the blade being part of your body. And when you do, in speed skating, we do that. We tighten our skates so hard because then you can have better edge control. Edge control is absolutely key. So think about that. As a hockey player, you don't want big, goofy skates. You need to have your skates tight and have them really part of your body. You want your blades to be just part of your foot. And Paul did that. He knew that intuitively. Let's see what he does here. So again, look at these blade angles, really nice. Driving over it. Good blade angle here again. And now he's getting ready to thrust forward. And this is just really nice hips, really nice line. So again, these principles apply. And he's on this skate already, he's early. And we call that in, in long track early. He's early on this pressure. And that's key because now he can move. So watch him move drive forward notice how he's driving forward instead of pushing this skate out he's driving this one forward watch see that and then he's on it excellent deep position so these are all really good things now he's going to pivot here shift a little nice hockey stuff love it working with the puck but moving with that lead skate, you can see the blade angle here, leaving that one early. So it's early pressure, moving with the lead skate, even with a hockey puck and a stick. Nice pausing. Does a little pivot there. And this is great. Watch this. Look at this stride forward. Just excellent. Good clearance, moving forward, and... Uh, Again, like one skate on the ice, as we talk about in skating. So this is really good, really good. Coming up a little here because he's going to shift positions and dump the puck and then move. So he's, you have to have awareness as a hockey player. So he's thinking not about his skating right now. He's thinking, he's thinking, okay, what am I going to do next? So he's a little up here, but you need to do that because he can come down in this pressure and then watch. dumps it, moves to open ice, and this is where he really shines as a skater. Watch this. You can tell, I mean, it's not a, a great picture, but really good pressure into the ice. And look at that crossover off the left. Huge gain, huge gain here. And that what that's what marks a great skater, gaining momentum moving forward against your body weight, moving your mass against your skate instead of your skate out away from your mask. Many hockey players just throw their skates out to the side. It doesn't work. Look at Paul Coffey here. Look at this stride. Look at how far forward he gets and look how early he is on this pressure. So it's just wonderful skating from Paul Coffey. And just wanted to show you that today because again, these principles apply to all, all skating sports. Figure skating, hockey skating, inline skating, speed skating, short track, but you want to move your body forward and you do that well and Paul Coffey did it so well. So we will talk to you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great, Later Skaters.